A 42 years old female presented with dense cataract and reduced vision. There was iris, lens, and corioretinal coloboma. So we started fecal emulsification cataract surgery after giving incision. We are using intracameral lignocaine with adenine to dilate the pupil. So once the pupil is dilated, we can clearly see that there is iris coloboma inferiorly with zonoral loss. So mono blue dye is injected to stain the anterior capsule. So it was a dense cataract. So now we are in inserting the viscoelastic. And we are using the iris hooks to have better dilatation of pupil as well as if we require to hold the anterior capsular edge, we can use the iris hooks. So here we are stretching the iris with the iris hooks. So we have also made the side port in CM for irrigation aspiration. So we're using the cystotome to perform central curvilinear capsular axis. And now I'm using capsular axis forceps or utrata forceps to make the capsular axis in a better way. So you aim for smaller one when there is subluxation of the lens and you try not to reach the edge where there is zonoral loss and coloboma. So once done it, I'm injecting further viscoelastic to complete capsular access. And now I'm injecting viscoelastic in the capsular bag to dilate it so that I can insert capsular tension ring. So here we are inserting, inserting CTR. So you have to make sure that you are in the capsular bag. And especially the last end, it should be within the capsular bag. So once done, I'm removing the viscoelastic and some soft lens matter anteriorly. And then I'll do hydrodissection to mobilize the nucleus and now I'm doing phaco chop so I'm gradually uh, holding the lens and using horizontal chop to divide into different pieces and trying to remove it simultaneously so that I have to rotate as much as less possible so it's very important to Keep gentle. You don't want to create any posterior capsular rupture at this time. So gradually nuclear fragments are coming out. So here we are removing the last few fragments of the nucleus.
so here we have removed the last fragment now we are performing the irrigation aspiration of the cortical lens matter so our ctr is nicely sitting in within the capsular bag So we're injecting the viscolaste again to open up the capsular bag and also removing some bits of the cortical lens matter over the posterior capsule. So I'm injecting the lens within the bag. So it's relatively smaller capsular access, but it's really important to put your lens within the bag. So here I'm making sure that the both haptics are within the bag. Now we are removing the iris hooks. So once they are removed, we'll inject myocol to constrict the pupil and hydrate our wounds after removing the viscoelastic material. We're checking the wound, it's not leaking and we finish up the case. Thank you very much.